Mathematics in Medieval Islam Mathematics during the Golden Age of Islam, especially during the 9th and 10th centuries, was built on Greek mathematics Euclid Archimedes, Apollonius and Indian mathematics Aryabhata, Brahmagupta. Important progress was made, such as full development of the decimal place value system to include decimal fractions, the first systematist study of algebra, and advances in geometry and trigonometry. Arabic works played an important role in the transmission of mathematics to Europe during the 10th to 12th centuries. Concepts Algebra, Algebra, Algebra The study of algebra, the name of which is derived from the Arabic word meaning completion or reunion of broken parts, flourished during the Islamic Golden Age. Mohammed ibn Musa al Kh Warizmi, a scholar in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. In his book, The Compendious Book on Calculation by Completion and Balancing, al Kh Warizmi deals with ways to solve for the positive roots of first and second degree linear and quadratic polynomial equations. He also introduces the method of reduction and, unlike Diophantus, gives general solutions for the equations he deals with. Al Kh Warizmi's algebra was rhetorical, which means that the equations were written out in full sentences. This was unlike the algebraic work of Diophantus, which was syncopated, meaning that some symbolism is used. The transition to symbolic algebra, where only symbols are used, can be seen in the work of Ibn al Banna, al Marrakashi, and Abu al Hassan, Ibn Ali al Khalasadi. On the work done by Al Kh Warizmi, J. J. O'Connor and Edmund F. Robertson said, Perhaps one of the most significant advances made by Arabic mathematics began at this time with the work of Al Kh Warizmi, namely the beginnings of algebra. It is important to understand just how significant this new idea was. It was a revolutionary move away from the Greek concept of mathematics, which was essentially geometry. Algebra was a unifying. Several other mathematicians during this time period expanded on the algebra of Al Kh Warizmi. Abu Kamil Shuja wrote a book of algebra accompanied with geometrical illustrations and proofs. He also enumerated all the possible solutions to some of his problems. Abu al Jud Omar Khayyam, along with Sharif al Din al Tusi, found several solutions of the cubic equation. Omar Khayyam found the general geometric solution of a cubic equation. Cubic equations, equations, induction. The earliest implicit traces of mathematical induction can be found in Euclid's proof that the number of primes is infinite c 300 BCE. The first explicit formulation of the principle of induction was given by Pascal in his Trait du Triangle, Arithmetique 1665. In between, implicit proof by induction for arithmetic sequences was introduced by al Karaji c. 1000 and continued by al Samal, who used it for special cases of the binomial theorem and properties of Pascal's triangle. Irrational numbers The Greeks had discovered irrational numbers, but were not happy with them and only able to cope by drawing a distinction between magnitude and number. In the Greek view, magnitudes varied continuously and could be used for entities such as line segments, whereas numbers were discrete. Hence, irrationals could only be handled geometrically, and indeed Greek mathematics was mainly geometrical. Islamic mathematicians including Abu Kamil, Shuja ibn Aslam, and ibn Tahir al-Baghdadi slowly removed the distinction between magnitude and number, allowing irrational quantities to appear as coefficients in equations and to be solutions of algebraic equations. They worked freely with irrationals as mathematical objects, but they did not examine closely their nature. In the 12th century, Latin translations of LKH Warizmi's arithmetic on the Indian numerals introduced the decimal positional number system to the Western world. His compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing presented the first systematic solution of linear and quadratic equations. In Renaissance Europe, he was considered the original inventor of algebra, although it is now known that his work is based on older Indian or Greek sources. He revised Ptolemy's geography and wrote on astronomy and astrology. 
However, C. A. Nalino suggests that Al K. H. Warizmi's original work was not based on Ptolemy but on a derivative world map, presumably in Syriac or Arabic. Spherical Trigonometry The spherical law of signs was discovered in the 10th century. It has been attributed variously to Abu Muhammad Kajandi, Nasir al Din al Tusi, and Abu Nasir Mansur, with Abu al Wafa Buzjani as a contributor. Ibn Maid al Jayani's The Book of Unknown Arcs of a Sphere in the 11th century introduced the general law of signs. The plain law of signs was described in the 13th century by Nasir al Din al Tusi in his On the Sector Figure. He stated the law of signs for plane and spherical triangles and provided proofs for this law. Negative numbers, numbers, double false position. Between the 9th and 10th centuries, the Egyptian mathematician Abu Kamal wrote a now lost treatise on the use of double false position, known as the Book of the Two Errors Kitab, al Qatar Ain. The oldest surviving writing on double false position from the Middle East is that of Quistau ibn Luka, 10th century, an Arab mathematician from Baalbek, Lebanon. He justified the technique by a formal, Euclidean-style geometric proof. Within the tradition of medieval Muslim mathematics, double false position was known as Hisab al Qata'ain reckoning by two errors. It was used for centuries to solve practical problems such as commercial and juridical questions estate partitions according to rules of Quranic inheritance, as well as purely recreational problems. The algorithm was often memorized with the aid of mnemonics, such as a verse attributed to Ibn al Yasimin and balanced scale diagrams explained by al Hasr and Ibn al Banna, who were each mathematicians of Moroccan origin. Other major figures Sally P. Rajab, a historian of science in Islam, estimated in 2019 that tens of thousands of Arabic manuscripts in mathematical sciences and philosophy remain unread, which gives studies which reflect individual biases and a limited focus on a relatively few texts and scholars. Abd al Hamid ibn Turkafel, 830 Quadratics, Quadratics. Habit Ibn Qura 826-901, Sind Ibn Ali D. after 864, Ismail al-Jazari 1136-1206, Abu Sal al Quhaisi 941,000 centers of gravity, Abul Hassan al aqlidisi 952-953 arithmetic, Abd al-Aziz al kabasi D. 967-7-C7, Ibn al Haytham C. 965 1040, 1040, 1040, 1040. Abu al Rahan al Biruni 973 1048 trigonometry. Ibn Madis C. 1116 1196. Jamshid al Kashi C. 1380 1429 decimals. An estimation of the circle constant. Gallery.